Spring 2010, and a volcanic eruption in Iceland empties the skies over most of Europe. 100,000 flights are grounded. Millions are stranded across the world. When the dust settled, scientists began working on a new system to help stop it happening again. And here's the man who came up with the idea. This is the pod that holds the instrument. A camera fitted to normal airliners that can see ash clouds in the distance. There's no certainty in science, so even though we have very good models, very good satellites, we're still not sure of where all the ash is. So with this, aviation will still be able to fly. They can fly around the cloud, they can fly over it if it's low enough, below it if it's high enough. The AVOID system, as it's called, uses infrared to look around 40 miles into the distance. And there was only one way to test it. They got themselves one of these, a military aircraft. They collected a ton of ash from the same volcano that erupted in 2010. And they used an industrial vacuum cleaner to spew it out of the back and recreate that ash cloud. And this is what it looked like. Airline EasyJet and manufacturer Airbus recreating an eruption over the Bay of Biscay, north of Spain. What we're seeing with the infrared camera here, the red's showing the density of the ash. Obviously, the On the flight deck, the, the pilot has an electronic map. You can clearly see the ash clouds, giving the crew enough time to change course and fly safely by. It's a huge leap forward because from a satellite, obviously, you can forecast things, but it has limitations. With this, you're actually seeing it in a dynamic. You're seeing it in real time. You're seeing it physically in front of you. You can't see it with your human eye, but the instrumentation can see the hazard, and therefore you can avoid it. Icelandic volcanoes erupt every five years on average, but since 2010 we have better forecasting, better radar and better planning. Coupled with this new system, it means that the chaos of three years ago should never happen again. Richard Westcott, BBC News, Toulouse in France.